my conventional, I think, evolutionary biology driven answer to that would be uh, it's a simple molecule, uh, closely related to tryptophan, the uh, why, you know, essential amino acid for people and certainly essential for proteins in all living organisms. And, and uh, plants are, are complex and variegated chemists and they make derivatives of amino acids uh, in copious numbers and uh, this would be a reasonable simple derivative to make. Uh, so it's around perhaps for that reason, but that sort of begs the question of why do plants make anything that is not obviously essential to their needs and, and why DMT is, uh, is occurring in plants and why uh, psilocybin occurs in mushrooms or mescaline occurs in peyote or cannabinoids occur in the cannabis plant I think is a really interesting and profound uh, question that nobody has even really adequately addressed yet. Uh, so why, I, I, you know, but I think the, we really don't know. And then one could speculate, oh, okay, well, maybe as, as some have, that maybe the DMT is there for people to ingest it and become spiritually connected with our world and with the plant world and so forth. And perhaps that's, perhaps something like that is going on, but that really uh, goes beyond what we're able to kind of incorporate in our current scientific framework.